Hey everyone, this is Lisa from the Rhinestone World, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use your Silhouette cutting mat to line up your Caesar Easy patterns perfectly to make this shirt. And you can use the code TRWYouTube80 to get this design 80% off. Here I have my Caesar Easy Patterns. The Easy Patterns come in a 20 inch section. So you can see I have some on a roll right here. And one thing that's interesting is that it has a little bit of a border on it. Now that can be a little bit tricky, especially if you have to load it in for your cut and you need your pattern to be straight. So we have this, I am using the Houndstooth pattern. It is available on our website at therhinestoneworld.com. And this is the section that I'm going to be using. Now you can see it's cut crooked here and I have all this space here. So I really want to make sure that this is being loaded into my cutter correctly. So the way I'm going to do that is I am actually going to be using my silhouette cutting mat. Now you can already see there's a great benefit to it. It is see-through. So you can set this up and kind of go in reverse to line up your design. So this is going to be on this top left corner so I'm going to flip it over and find my design and I'm going to line up the edge of my grid to the design. And we can smooth it and now I can just go ahead and smooth this out. So now you can see my vinyl does go a little bit past my cutting mat. Um, it's pretty minimal so it won't affect my cameo. So I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to set up my design studio to, I'm going to set up my Silhouette Studio, my design space, to make sure I have this all ready. Here I am in Silhouette Studio. Now I have my file already set up in my workspace. Now this file is available on our website. It comes in an EPS and SVG format, so you can cut it no matter what cutter you have. And if you use the code TRWYouTube80, you can get 80% off of this design. And we're going to link to this design in the description for you. Now, this is the part where I will be cutting on houndstooth. So I have my outline cut already, which is this right here. And this is my houndstooth part. Now, if you remember, I loaded my houndstooth onto my mat sideways. So I need to rotate this part of my design. Now, if I click on it, I have this little green dot that shows up. If you hover over it, you'll notice that your mouse turns into a little circle arrow, which means rotate. So I'm going to hold down the shift button and rotate this to the side. Now what shift does is it ensures that it rotates at 45 degree increments. So that means I'll have a perfect rotation to the side for this part. Now I'm just going to position this on the left side of my cutting mat. I am cutting on a cutting mat so I just need to make sure on my page setup over here that I have cutting mat selected. So right here, second section, cutting mat. We have our Cameo 12 by 12. So now I'm ready to send this to the cutter. I can go over to my send panel. And the easy patterns, I use my same settings that I use for my easy weed. So I'm going to go down here to my user defined settings, go to easy weed. And you can see at the bottom, it gives me a preview. It's going to have my blade at two. My speed right now is set to one. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to, to eight and my thickness at six. So right here we have easy weed. Let's edit the material. I'm going to make my speed 8, save it, and now I'm all good. You'll see it update at the bottom. And then if you don't have these cut lines, this will happen a lot if you bring in SVG files. Just make sure under your action tab you have it set to cut right here, this middle section. And now we're all set, so I'm going to load in my material and cut it. Then I'll be ready to weed and press. My design is all cut. I did a weed box around my design, so I'm going to look for the box. And I have my weed edge tool, it's available on our website. It's my favorite weeding tool. And I'm just gonna grab it and pull. And the easy patterns is great because you have the look and benefits of a printed vinyl. But the great thing is that the carrier is already attached to it for you once you get it. So a lot of printed vinyls, uh, the way they work is you have to print on the actual medium. So that means you'll get it printed and then you basically have to use transfer tape to pick it up a type of transfer tape to pick it up and put it on your garment. Here, I just went ahead and weeded it. It was one pull and it's all together. So the great thing about the easy patterns is that it weeds just like your easy weed would. And honestly, on some occasions, I think it weeds even easier than that. So a really good benefit with that. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and trim off these sides. Get that over there. You want to be careful not to cut your design. And then for these, I'll just go ahead and pull the vinyl off. No problem. So now you can see I got my hound's tooth this way. And it's not, it doesn't really matter which way it goes because it goes the same both ways. I just didn't want my pattern to kind of be at a weird angle in my printed vinyl. So I'll lift this up and set it to the side. And now I'm ready to weed my other part of the design. Just gonna pull up. And this is Caesar Glitter Vinyl. It's red. And we do have it on our website as well. So all of the materials and the vinyl that I'm using in the video you can purchase. And we'll put links in the description for you so you can get it right after you do this video. So let's go ahead and I'll weed this way. So this is going to be my elephant outline and my text. So I just need to be careful and make sure I'm weeding out the right sections because the text will be solid, but the outline is, of course, an outline. So just be mindful of that as you weed this design. So we'll go ahead and turn it. And then grab right here. And we'll just continue on. And so I have a script font in here, but really, if you're getting your cut settings set well, you should have no trouble weeding out this design. See, I got all of that really in one pull. Alright, so we just want to get these little sections out of here. So we'll grab this. Oops, I grabbed the wrong part. Like I said, you gotta make sure you grab the right parts of your design. And I can actually bend it a little bit because I am using glitter. Right, so let's flip it over, double check. Right, so that is the Alabama part of my design. And again, I'm just going to cut this little strip off. This one on the side can easily be used for another project. And then I'll just go ahead and peel this. So I can bring back my hound's tooth and show you how this design is going to look. So I'll put this down. And your Alabama will go right in here. And we're going to be putting this on a black t-shirt. So I have my heat press turned on. We're gonna go over and press this shirt. I have my t-shirt on the heat press. Now this is a J America glitter tee. Uh, you can get that from any of the t-shirt retailers that you use, Alpha Broder, TSF, SS, S and S. And if you do not have a resale license, you can get this on Amazon. And we went ahead and included this in our links. So you can go and check the links we love and you can buy this straight from Amazon. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a pre-press. This is going to get some of the moisture and wrinkles out of your, your shirt. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to bring my press down for a couple seconds. So we have it all set and I like to shake it a little bit. So my press is set at 310 degrees for 15 seconds. And easy weave presses at 305. Glitter will press typically at 315. So I like to cut the difference and press it at that. So I'm going to kind of set them up together so I can figure out my alignment. I'm going to be pressing the hound's tooth first or the Caesar Easy pattern first. Uh, because that's a thinner vinyl, I want to get that tacked down and then I'm going to use my glitter to finish out the design. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to find it. And so I'm using my armpits to be the center of my design. And I'm using the collar to figure out the center off the neck. So let's go ahead and bring this glitter off. And what I'm going to do is I just want to tack this down. Now you don't want to do your full press because your vinyl can shrink. And especially with this easy pattern, just the nature of the vinyl, it tends to shrink a little bit faster than some of our other sets. So we're going to go ahead, grab our cover sheet, and I'm just going to tack this down for a couple seconds. 
All right, so we'll do that. And then we can lift off our carrier. And it should stay down pretty well. If you do have vinyl that doesn't stay, that's fine. You can just go ahead and drop your press again to get it to stay. Now, with my glitter vinyl, the design is made so that you have an offset around your text, which means you're gonna have a little border around everything. And then it has what we call a magic trap where the outline is. So the magic trap means that this outline slightly overlaps your vinyl, your um, houndstooth or your easy pattern, so that it eliminates that weird gap you have when you press multiple colors. So we have our glitter set here. Now, I'm just going to tack this down for a couple seconds because I don't want to get too much of this glitter from my carrier onto my easy pattern. So I'm going to cover this and just, again, tack it down to get it to stay. So we're all set here. I can lift off my carrier sheet and it looks pretty good so far. Now all I need is for my vinyl to get its full dwell time, which is just the amount of time under the heat. So I'm gonna go ahead, bring my heat press down for 10 seconds. So I went ahead and opened my heat press. Uh, this is the Stahl's Max Press. This is their 15 by 15 inch model. You can get it on our website. And here we go. So we have a shirt being used with the Caesar Easy Patterns. This is the Houndstooth pattern and Caesar Glitter. So you can get both colors on our website and you can even purchase this shirt using the link in the description. So if you have any more questions, you can comment below or email us at info at the rhinestoneworld.com. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to see more videos using the Silhouette Cameo, click here. And don't forget to like and comment to let us know what you think.